But this is why I think capitalism in of itself is in a lot of trouble in this country. I have one remarkable Fox News clip to show you. But before I get there, I have to preface this story with the actual story, and that's that GM has laid off 14,700 workers in North America. And this affects both factory working jobs as well as white-collar jobs. And it affects plants, uh, GM plants in Michigan, Ohio, Maryland, and Ontario. Now you'd think with these massive layoffs, the stock, the GM stock must have really taken a hit, right? No, that's never what happens with these layoffs. Every time there's a mass layoff like this, it tends to boost the stock of these companies. And that's what happened in this case as well. So as the news of the layoffs was coming out on Monday morning, GM stock jumped 8% to 38.75 a share before tapering off a bit. Showing you that capitalism is amoral. It doesn't care who you are, what you make. All it cares about is profit. If we can make more profit, then we will do it. Capitalism has no protections built in. So as long as the system allows these massive corporations to lay off masses of people as a way for them to make money for themselves, then they will do it. Now that I've showed you what happened with GM, let me uh, show you this Fox News clip where this news is uh, getting them a little worried about what might happen in the future. This news broke when you were sitting here yesterday, and all we really had was the headline. I think as the day went on, the news sunk in, and this news is, it's not good for these people. It's not good. Last quarter, Michigan, last quarter, the company did $35 billion in three months. 77% came from North American customers. 87% of operating income came from North American business. So yeah, you can build out factories all over the world, but the Americans are keeping you in business and you kick them to the curb at the first sign of trouble. So the president's not happy. He's 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 shooting back at, at, at Mary Barra, who, by the way, happened to be at the White House yesterday for a pre-scheduled meeting with Larry Kudlow. Mm -hmm. We don't really know what was discussed there, but the president's fired back saying that they should make a better car, uh, that, um, that he was very tough on GM's borrow over these plant closures. So he's not happy. No, he shouldn't be happy, of course. Uh, I don't think any American president would be happy about this. And again, it's not like they're in dire straits. Now, they're trying to get ahead of things. They want a big fat cash flow. But this is why I think capitalism in of itself is in a lot of trouble in this country. Uh, because, you, you know, these companies Companies keep posting record earnings and they keep firing people. They keep posting record earnings and they keep buying back billions of dollars of their own stock. The American public is going to get hip to this, and my fear is that they're going to end up electing not a democratic socialist, just a straight up socialist because of these kind of shenanigans. They should have okay. saw this coming a long time Topic ago. Topic number two the markets were flying yesterday down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was a great clip. Now, after uh, so that was Charles Payne there from Fox News Business on this Fox News show. After Payne brings up how you know the American people might go and elect a socialist after recognizing how fundamentally broken capitalism is, the hosts quickly move on to something else because they do not want to talk about that. <laughs> now let me just first of all, I'm just a little uh, amazed how uh, I don't know. I guess open Charles Payne is to the reality that capitalism is indeed broken. And I think he is correct to point out that it's very possible that a socialist or a democratic socialist will come into power be, uh, based on this sort of behavior from these massive corporations, these layoffs, while these corporations are still making record profits. So let me break down some of what, just the absurdity of this whole GM story. So this is from Automotive News Canada. GM posts U.S. $2.5 billion quarter three profit on strong results in key markets. And that news is from less than a month ago. This is a company that is making money, yet they just cut almost 15,000 employees. And the absurdity does not end there. GM also wasted $14 billion on share buybacks since 2014. Not to mention... GM CEO Mary Barra collected nearly $22 million in total compensation for 2017. That's 295 times more than the average GM worker makes. So, I posed, I posed you the question again. Capitalism. Is this working out? Does this make sense? This is what happens when you have a system where the ones that have all the money and all the power continue 
to have all the money and all the power and continue taking it from everybody else. Everyone else is losing while the top continues to benefit. Now, you may think, but the Trump, the Trump corporate tax cuts and the tax cuts for the wealthy. I mean, that was good. These are the job creators. This is going to help everybody out. People are going to make higher wages. They're going to be a just massive job growth. Yeah, of course not. That money went to CEO pay and stock buybacks. That's where that money went. So again, when you put the power, when you put the money in control of who has the power, what are they going to do with it? If there isn't a demand for them to create more jobs and to pay people more money, why would they? When they could just straight up take the money themselves. If the system allows them to do that, they will continue to do that. Now, we also can't forget about the billion-dollar bailout. So this is from John Michael McGrath on TVO.org. Less than a decade ago, GM was bankrupt. The company and its smaller competitor, Chrysler, needed and received billions of dollars in public money from the federal governments of the U.S. and Canada, as well as from Queen's Park, to stay afloat. GM transferred its assets to a new company and dissolved the old one, along with its liabilities. Ontario's courts spent years trying to disentangle certain elements of the bailout, including the wind-down of franchise agreements with GM dealers. Some workers kept their jobs, but their primary function was as hostages the automakers could hold for public ransom. GM exists today thanks only to massive public action across different countries and levels of government. And now, in gratitude, GM is throwing thousands of people out of work in Ontario, Michigan, Ohio, and Maryland. And he ends the piece by saying, if Ontario is faced with the prospect of bailing out the next major employer that comes begging, it should remember that big business will gladly shoot its hostages, the workers, even after extracting its ransom. So you know why Fox News is scared that socialism will win? Because they recognize that capitalism treats workers like hostages. People recognize that, hey, didn't my tax dollars go to bailing out this company? Didn't we just give them this, this massive tax cut? Why are they cutting jobs? They're pro this is a profitable company. Why are they cutting jobs? Because they don't give a shit. <laughs> the money goes to the people at the top. The money goes to those that have the power. The money goes to the CEO making $22 million a year while she's laying off 14,700 employees. This is a system where the people at the top that have the power, that have the money, they continue wanting more and more and more, and they keep taking from the rest of us. This is a broken system. This is capitalism. And people will recognize this. People will continue to recognize this and understand that there is a different direction. And maybe that direction is, in fact, socialism.